Hello gang, from Stray Farm Studio, I'm bringing you Niche. It's a genetic survival game, as you can see right there on the title screen. Oh. I'll start from though. I've tried some other games. I've played it a little bit. Got a feel for it. But we're going to play the story mode. Adam Saga. Don't have a choice on naming the first character in the story mode. So we'll just go with it. It's a little game. Play as a genetic line of critters. In this case, starting off with Adam. Oh, there we go. Yes, allergies are kicking my tail. Uh oh, no adults nearby. That hurts. Ground. You're alone, stranded. All right. See if we can still move. Click on Adam. Click on your critters. Their heads are going to follow the cursor, whichever way you go. Any of them that still have actions left. Now, so you have actions. You see the one green gem on the chest? That's because he's an Andy Betty. He's a little guy. He's a child. Twenty-three days of life left. So I think the game is short on that. First, I'll leave. Now when you hit Juvenile, you'll have two, and then as a double, you'll have three, and then eventually you drop dead. First, I think there should be a couple of elderly levels added in, where you go back down to two, and then down to one, and the game is done. Now, in order to progress, you really got to plan generationally ahead. Mouse wheel, F and R. You got to plan generationally ahead to be able to do almost anything. Because, like, exploring a large island can take a generation or two, because they die short, so shortly. Now, you learn to that, you adapt. It's cool. It's still fun. First, I just like the longer lifespans. Now, you're supposed to harvest. Down below, you've got your genetic traits down here. Two high fertilities, which is good, because you don't want to waste actions. But you want those future generations. Immunity. Two eyes. Hearing. Medium ears, so you get a plus three. That's down here. See, right now, these light areas, I mean, it's where we can see. There's the area we can smell. We can smell the berry bush next to us. And here. What is that? There's some sort of plant. Alright, now we have venom fangs. We got a big body, so it gives us a strike damage of two. Kill most small animals. Because we've got runner's legs, we can harvest two. So let's do that as it wants us to. There we go. And you can either click the sun thing up in the middle to the next turn or spacebar. Yes, follow the cursor. <laughs> Again, I've shown you through most of the basics. Let's talk about up there in the tutorial. Gotta get the flower patch and interact with the stone to go to the next island. So let's keep moving. Hmm. I went ahead and harvested the poison stuff so that. Ah, important thing to note. Here is your, your current genetic string of traits. That takes a while to explain. But, over here. 50-50, this is where you can go for mutations. If you've got things opened up in here that your animal doesn't have, but you want your future animals to have, 
you can click on it in the mutation and get it put down in here. Now, it's hard to see the poison stuff because somewhere up in here there's a basically poison immunity that's that you can unlock and earn, earn the ability to try and get into your genetics uh, by harvesting poison food and stuff. Let's keep going though. Ever to get off this island. Yep, it's raining. Ah, oh, that's going to make you cold. But it also makes plants you've already harvested regrow, grow more food, that kind of thing. Alright, um, let's get out of here. In case I forgot to mention it previously, gang, the food in the bottom corner currently 19. Use one of those every day. Per tribe member. Did you hear that? Sounds like another animal is living on the island. Find the wild animal, offer it food, and join your tribe. You can switch perception mode by right. I think I showed you that. I think I showed you that already, but our area of sight, area of smell, area of he hearing. Alright. Load enough hidey holes. Let's come through the middle, the, up through the grass, head across. Isn't even here yet. Really? Alright, deselect. Hello? How are you, Eve? Ooh. Okay, medium body, looks like. And ram. Oh, wow. She's a good gatherer. She should gather four food instead of two that we can do. She got runner's legs. Instead, she's got double nimble fingers and a cracker jaw. So, like the nut that drops from the trees, she can re really harvest those. One of the nuts where we can't harvest at all, she'll get four, four food off it. And a berry bush, or we'll get two, she'll get four. Medium body though. Let's invite Eve. Cost us five food. <laughs> Should be able to replenish that quick and easy though. Now I've got both. Nice. She's medium body, so that big head looks weird on her. Alright. Man, right behind you, the stone steps crumble away so you can't return. She is sitting right here next to the berry bush. Let's harvest all we can with it. So I only had three. So we only got three. We should have, could have got four if it had it. So I don't have a tree? Yes. Or if they're nuts or not. She has two damage, might get some meat next turn. More food. The two of them are using more food now. Now, every action you take, if I were to move him first, those moles are still going to rotate with her sitting there, which point he'll spot her and dive back down. So you've got to make sure, in this case, she goes first, kills it, she can go ahead and harvest. That's four nice food. Now I should really get to moving off this island. 
Rollen. Right, we'll go that way. Might be able to get the groundhog. Can definitely get the nuts. Now, Adam, he's gonna rotate around that way. Adam will go up here. Or I can just get that one. And harvest. Oh, he rotated around enough to spot her and dove down. Alright. Now, see, we can select her. Go to smell. We got a. We got a groundhog in there. You can hear it, too. Oh, well. We're gonna work towards getting out of here. Oh, she can dig. But see how it's orange? Not likely to find anything. You can dig for roots, if need be. Because orange, very unlikely to find anything. Let's crack that nut. Two. Only worth two. Dang. That sucks. I don't want to swoop up. You know what? Grab the nesting material. Possible. Nope. Failed. Alright, let's move. You know what? Just gather some more. We'll move both of them over together tomorrow and get out of here. Ooh, let's grab that nut. I'll move two. Dang it. See, she's got one extra look, so if I move her up there. She can't activate the stone. We'll lose another day. So instead, I'll go to Adam. He can move all the way up here and activate the stone, moving us to the next island. Now, right quick, always make sure whenever you're moving, everyone going with you is in the flower beds. If you don't, and you're not in the flowers, it gets left behind and it's gone from your tribe. I didn't check her age. She's got 13 days left. Now she's got 15. Try to get to the next island. Hopefully, it's got plenty of good food so we can go ahead, sit down, and nest, and raise some pups. Get big bodies with that nutcracker head. Okay, gang, for some reason, when we changed up Ironlands, I think it glitched. I just realized that. I would left it running and it wasn't recording properly. So, Adam and Eve have come in. It's a big island. Not look it, but for this game it is. One of the issues with the short lifespans. That the two of them together will never be able to explore and clear this whole island by themselves. Gotta have pups. Got to expand the tribe and thus expand the life of the game. She's got the cracker jaws, so we're heading up to, to around the tree. We found a rabbit warren, hoping to find a good place to set in a nest. She's still got 12 days left, 12 turns, and I've got 14. Adam, go ahead and clear that. Oh, good, we got some more nesting material. Oh, oh, this is going to be a nice place for harvesting. But you don't want to sit right next to them. If you sit right next to, like, rabbit warrens and gopher holes, they don't come out. They just hide. She can smell that gopher, though. Another one over there. I meant to clear it. Dang it. Adam, you can actually get to move your speed. Let's do it. Alright, not great. We need food, though. So, actually, I've got him on. Let's... Yeah, we will stay on this island. We have to push right on through. It's not looking all that prosperous. <laughs> all right, Eve. I'm 
looks like a clear grass square there. Let's move to it. Ooh! Get him! And please harvest the nut. Ah, I want to two. Darn it. I'm just gonna move there and harvest the meat. They keep clearing. We've got a good amount of food. It's time to find a good spot to put in a nest. If you go around the coast, Adam, you go up this way. Working clear. Adam, let me check your senses. Oh, we got a berry bush right there. Okay. With that being there, the tree there, berry bush there. Two on it, dang. <sighs> All right, Eve, please crack the nut, get the food. It's up for the two of you for a day. Yeah, I want to get her up here. She's got three movements. Ooh, we've got a permanent nest right there. That's even better. She'll head for that. Clear it out. From there we clear the grass. We should be able to see him just fine. Keep clearing. Hey, Eve. Here, get out of that nut. Ah, another turn. Alright, zoom in, see if we can get a good eye on that bush. I see at least two purple fruit, three. How much do we get? One, two, three. Full four. Nice. We're at 29. We have plenty of food. Alright. Adam, buddy. Love you, lady. Love you. They've both got the plus six high fertility, so. He is pregnant. Time to move to the nest. That we shot the little ones. Yeah, come on, hide and harvest what's left. And let's clear some more grass. Before I end the day, though, let's go to Eve's genetics and see if there's anything I want to try and make sure to get in there. Any improvements? I don't have anything spectacular. I think. Swimming. She got two swimming. She got two swimming. Alright. I want to keep the horns if possible. I don't think they need to have to keep it so we'll pass. Alright. But I think we're good. Let's see what the little one looks like. Hello, little one. Oop. We got a mole. Daddy Adam. There you go, get a mole. Who the heck are you? I have never seen a little one pop up before. 
And that is definitely a junior. Carico, hi Carico. Carico, you suck. Yeah, low fertility at normal fertility. Medium body, runner leg, hind leg. So you can only harvest one food and only do one damage. That's not good genetic trading. How's our little buddy? Bankovan. Nice. Nimble fingers, runner's leg. Big body. Nice. And the cracker jaw with nibble fingers. And super high fertility. Excellent. Let me guess. He's a boy. Girl. Her stats suck. Ugh. If we move on to another island with outer. Should give us another option. Uh, she's pretty though, I guess. Thing is, with those stats, she's bordering on useless. She's unable to kill small game in a single strike. It takes two, minimum. She can't harvest much of the way of food. She pretty much has to be supported by the rest of the tribe. She's nothing but a mate to our little guy. Ah, allergies are killing me. Those fall allergies. Alright, mom. Turn on down. See how much the bush regrew. Just two. By the way, always keep an adult near the little ones. Or the birds like at the beginning that carried Adam off. Can swoop in and attack. Got an adult next to them, they're fine. That's right off. Smelling ability, you got to explore 100 grass sections. Better eat this out and fight an animal with gene into your tribe. Poison fangs, travel to a new island. Cracker dropper, form 50 cracks. We have six. But they both got it, so we've got some generational time to get it done. So let's go to Eve. Let's. Is that not? Uh, man, she ran off of the grass. I am not chasing. That will waste days, years of lifespan. Let's start heading out of here. I don't really like this island. I don't have a good vibe for it. Let's go find another one. Keep trying to find Adam's people. Oh, well, there's Rabbit. Little bat ban come on. That one. And we'll harvest the meat next round. Next turn. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, but stay next to the kid. For the reasons I explained to you earlier. Only six days left. Jeez. God, he's a juvenile. Go ahead and collect the meat. The rabbit run out into the water? Oh, it's fish, okay. But 
the rabbit go? There's crabs over there. Can't catch fish. She can crack the crab. Can't get the fish. Right, we're gonna go ahead and move Eve up here. Alright, now. Anything Adam can get to. I think he can hunt that. Oh, he wouldn't be able to click the meat. That would be one, hunt it, and have to leave the meat and get back. Dang it. Yep. Oh, bloody lovely. Parasite. One of your animals is a parasite. Remove it by grooming. He's got a parasite. Eve's got a parasite. Dang it. Alright, it won't do a lot of damage. We'll get it. Get to the island on the other side. Eve, get us to a better home. I just don't like this island. Actually, let's go ahead and travel. Alright. Gang, Eve's got the Parasite. Well, Bon, come on. Get the leech off your mom. Gone, and it became food. Alright, well, Bon. Move up the coast. Get in right a bit. Let's get a better look at this island. Oh, this island is massive. We are going to be... Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know that if we went full tilt running the entire way that I don't know you could even get to the next island hop section before they died. Well, in my end river areas. Alright, this is going to be our home for a while. Definitely going to be our home for a while. We have trees, we're dropping nuts, we probably berry bushes all up in there. Got berry bush right there. And hopefully a new and better mate for little Vaughn. But for now, that's where we're going to leave it, gang. Leave your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, if there's something out there important to you, whether it's up and out, face to face with other people, or from the relative safety of being behind your terminal, get involved, make a difference. If you don't, and somebody else does, and they do things in a fashion or a way you would never agree with, never support, but you did nothing, you really got no ground for which to complain. So get out, get involved, make a difference yourself, but take care and stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt. And I'll catch you later, because for now, we're out from here. Bye.